can be agreed to. The Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Labor joins the Prime Minister in expressing our sympathy to the family of Gough Whitlam. Former Labor Prime Minister of Australia from 1972 to 1975, died at the grand old age of 98 years. And as we say here in New Zealand, a mighty totra has fallen across the Tasman. He was born in 1916 in Kew, a suburb of Melbourne, and his real name was Edward Gough Whitlam. He was called by his middle name Gough because his maternal grandfather was called Edward. He married Margaret in 1942 and they had four children. And although he was only Prime Minister for three years, he became a defining political figure in modern Australia. And he had came into government following long periods of conservative governments. And there was a lot of similarities between Gough Whitlam's time coming into government and our own time led by Big Norm Kirk. He was a Prime Minister who did institute sweeping changes, and the Prime Minister has talked about one of them changing the flag. But he actually he transformed Australian society in many ways. He brought in the National Health Insurance Scheme, Medibank. He abolished university fees. He returned traditional lands in the Northern Territory to the Gurindi people. He formed relationships with China. He withdrew troops from Vietnam. He passed the Racial Discrimination Act and so much more. And his commitment to Labour values aligned very much with the values of our own great totara, Norman Kirk. He was a towering figure, and I remember meeting him in the 1990s. And when I went to a meeting in Sydney, he walked into the room, he was 1.94 metres tall. He had a flowing uh, mop of silver hair and a big booming voice. And his oratory was spellbinding. He was accompanied by Margaret, who was only slightly shorter than him who was also a very strong personality and who had very forthright views indeed. But wherever they went, people stopped and looked at them. And there was a real warmth towards them, particularly by the Labour Party in Australia, because he became an inspiration for generations of progressive politicians. And like our own big norm, he was referred to in Australia by his first name, Gough. He was also a man with a great sense of humour and many famous quotes. After the famous or infamous dismissal of his government by Sir John Kerr on the 11th of December 1975, he stood on the steps of the old Parliament House and said, well, may we say God save the Queen, because nothing is going to save the Governor General. <laughs> on his 80th birthday, he said, I do admit I seem eternal. Dying will happen sometime. As you know, I plan for the ages, not just for this life. When he was asked about what his plans were for the next age, his afterlife, he replied, I, you can be sure of one thing, of a possible meeting with his maker, I shall treat him as an equal. <laughs> told that Norm Kirk and Gough Whitlam had quite a testy relationship, but the similarities between the two are very apparent. When Margaret died in 2012, he said the love of his life had died. He was a man of superb intellect, of knowledge and of literacy. And so we mourn his passing for the people of Australia, but also, as the Prime Minister said, because of the bonds and relationships that have been performed between our two countries over many, many decades. We pass on our sympathy to his family today. Mr Speaker. Uh, Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, the Green Party joins um, the government in remembering uh, Gough Whitlam. Uh, Gough Whitlam was a hero to generations of progressive political activists in Australia, like me. In fact, this is uh, my signed copy of the Whitlam government, uh, which uh, I got Gough to sign um, many, many years ago. He bequeathed, a, um, he bequeathed a progressive legacy to Australia. Gough Whitlam 
Uh, and uh, also, I think we should remember Lionel Murphy in particular, the Attorney General and then High Court judge. They stood up for something. They stood up for something real. Gough had a passion for social justice. He had a passion for education and for the arts. In his short government, only three years long, he achieved free university education, universal health care, legal aid, passed the Racial Discrimination Act. He changed the national anthem from God Save the Queen to Advance Australia Fair, which is also something of a dirge, it's got to be said, but it was better than God Save the Queen. He introduced land rights, and particularly in Northern Territory, the Gurindji people um, received their land rights. He ended conscription. He ended the death penalty. He ratified the Human Rights Convention, the World Heritage Convention. He established the National Parks and Wildlife Service. He protected the Great Barrier Reef.